More than a half million dollars raised in just a few hours. Vice President Mike Pence capped off his visit to San Diego at a high-end fundraising event. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Steve Atkinson. Our tennis reporter Anthony Perra is in Rancho Santa Fe, where some pay top dollar to see the VP. Some people paid up to $35,000 to be at this fundraiser tonight, and they say that the vice president did not disappoint. But before the vice president stopped by this fundraiser, he was in Poway for an emotional tour of the synagogue that was attacked in April. Vice President Mike Pence and the second lady walked with Rabbi Israel Goldstein through the sanctuary at the Chabad of Poway Synagogue. It's been nearly three months since the deadly shooting rampage that happened in this place of worship. The rabbi gave Pence and his wife a blessing, followed by a sincere hug. I have no words of gratitude for what you have all have done for us. The vice president continued on with his busy night in San Diego. Before six o'clock, his motorcade was seen pulling into this large gated estate in Rancho Santa Fe for a GOP fundraiser. Nearly an hour later, it was seen leaving. I always wanted to see him up close and this was my opportunity, so here I am. Steve Ward was on the guest list. He says Pence reaffirmed the commitment he and the president made for a strong national defense. When he was, was speaking towards uh, um, um, building up the military again and taking care of our military, and, and uh, I wholeheartedly agree with that. There was more than 100 people that came to see the vice president and collectively raised more than a half million dollars for the GOP ahead of 2020. The vice president told guests that they should expect more visits from him and President Trump. And rumor is that uh, Donald Trump may be out here maybe in September. The vice president will be flying out of San Diego tomorrow morning. He will then head to Texas, where he will be touring an immigration detention center at the border. In Rancho Santa Fe, Anthony Pura, 10 News.